Okay, so I'm here at Olympic Forest Park here in the northern part of Beijing. Now, um, this is a pretty bay. It's a huge park, actually. They have like 10 kilometer trails you can use to walk around and stuff. Um, over here, you'll see people like driving boats around the lake and the park. And the, this isn't really the center of the park, but it's from, like towards like the entrance so that I got the subway station. But this park goes pretty far. So um, there's lots of like different places you can visit around the park. Um, there's people like in streams, like little like smaller like cascade waterfalls, like trying to catch fish with like, little nets and stuff. Um, there's people that go around and like have tents, like you can see the tents and stuff. And then this whole place, I guess. Um, I don't. This, this is a man-made park. Um, it has a pretty like sophisticated irrigation system. So, um, I don't know exactly when it was built, but I'd imagine that a lot of this park was like meant for the Olympics because um, it's called the Olympic Forest Park, and there's lots of like Olympic like signs like, oh, here's the Olympic Amphitheater, and there's like little places with like 2008 statues and stuff like I guess to promote the Olympics and then over there I'll try to show it to you right now there's this giant tower that has the seven Olympic rings on top or the five rings or how many rings the Olympics have but so yeah this whole place probably either renovated or like built largely for the Olympics and for everything after that but um, going around Beijing you'll find that I th well, this is my own analysis, I don't know if it's true, but a lot of the things, like the subway system here, I'm pretty sure was largely meant for the Olympics because, one, there's English everywhere, the announcements are in English, um, two, the stops that the subway gets at are like places that would be like for tourists or Olympic places, like the subway goes to like the Olympic Village and stuff and all these other Olympic places, so I assume that places like this were built to like help promote Beijing during the Olympics and promote tourism after tourism after that. Sometimes it feels like I'm eight years late for the Olympics, so it's in Rio this year, so maybe in eight years I'll be in Rio eight years late for the Olympics. So yeah, pretty cool park. Um it's called Sunli Gongyuan. So if you're ever in Beijing, Sunli Gongyuan um Forest Park. Very cool place. I highly recommend going here on a day where it's not too polluted because Today is very polluted. Um, I think this place would be a lot more beautiful without the pollution as with most parks in Beijing. So, pretty cool place. Um, I didn't go, I only went like partially around the park. You can go, you could probably spend a whole day here and, and probably not see all of it. But yeah, hopefully I'll come back here another day when it's not too polluted. But until the next video.